So before going into the discussion, let us see this particular MCQ, which is based on our short only. If you are aware of this, please pause the video and do this MCQ or else at the end of the short, I will be giving you the answer for this. So, so here is a question, which among the following scheme is extended to gig workers in the budget 2025? And your options here are Manerega, Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana, option number C is PM Jan Arogya Yojana and option number 4 is Mission Indra Dhanush. So do your answer by pausing the video. Let us continue our shot. Hello everyone. Many of your siblings or your friends or your relatives or your acquaintances may be working in a typical economy which they are not aware of it. That is called as gig economy and they are called as gig workers. Why we are discussing this? Because Ministry of Labor has released a report in this month in which they have estimated 62 million of India's total workforce would be gig workers by 2047. In this context, let me explain you who are the gig workers and what are the issues attached to them. Gig workers are those workers which have skills ranging from low, medium to high. They include, for example, Ola drivers, delivery agents like in Swiggy or in Zomato or a freelancing physiotherapist or a freelancing educators. Okay, all of this become may, makes a part of gig workers economy. Here, these workers are high professionals also and low professionals as I have told you, but does not enjoy the same benefit as given in a formal employment, which is mandated by various central and state legislations in the form of Companies Act of 2013, Factories Act of 1948, Labor Codes, etc. so and so forth. The gig workers don't enjoy the security of tenure, nor they never know that how many years they are working in a particular organization. They are hired on a contractual basis. They are underpaid, overexploited with regard to their time. Okay, and they are not even given what? Uh, insurance, pension and bonus, gratuity, etc. Which is normally given to the formal employees on a payroll in a particular organization. So taking the cognizance of this particular issue and the growing gig workers in future. So the report have suggested statutory legislation for the gig workers and also which determines the decent pay, the working timing so that exploitation should be reduced and gig workers should fare well with respect to on par with uh, the formal formally employed uh, individuals under the central and state legislations. I hope this is clear to you. Take care.